Baby. Hey, I'm ready now. Wake up, wake up, somebody said you're back. What do you want now, damn it? What? Really? Hit me with the super bass. Okay, I'll hit you with the super bass. You got it? Yeah. Got bass guitar. I just send you a lead guitar. That's better. What is up in YouTube? How y'all doing? Yeah. Now check it out, man. Hey, um, you got 50 Cent Explosion, um, um, French. Hey, and um, Puffy. There has been so much leaking out stuff and everything, and Puffy still haven't said anything. I mean, it is so much stuff. Now, um, Denzel Washington is, or people saying that he might say something, or I think a lot of people are putting words in, in other people's mouth. I don't think Denzel actually said that he is going to say something. I think the people saying that, but, um, they said that Denzel was invited to a puffy movie. I mean, a puffy, um, party and, he left early. I mean, he left. He he left like <laughs> people still going in or whatever. He left like he's outside by himself, getting in his car, and the paparazzi's out there um, asking him questions. And he had a look on his face like, "Don't ask me nothing. I'm just going home. I don't. I ain't. I ain't down with what's going on in there." That was it. That was it. So they could have been doing drugs, weed, and and Denzel ain't into. Denzel ain't never been into none of that stuff. Now, 50 Cent, on the other hand, you know, 50 Cent is exposing some stuff. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's check it out. Yo, check it out. So, yesterday, Chris Montana had an insta up in the Bronx. Ten people showed up. He said, F just let me have a drink. Puffy trying to make me go against 50. He set me up. Hey, my man's here. He came by. Yo, that's just kind of watered down by love. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Oh my God, I always call up. What's up? What's up, Cuba? I love you more than slight friends, white man. <laughs> oh my God. So 50 Cent is at it again, dishing out the dirt on Diddy, and this time he's dropping hints about French Montana and how he allegedly used to, well, let's just say go shopping with not just Diddy but also Diddy's close friend Cuba Gooding Jr. Now these whispers about French and Diddy have been floating around for some time, especially fueled by some pretty suspicious photos. Take this one for instance. At first glance it seems innocent enough but zoom in on Diddy and French and it's a whole different story. Diddy even went the extra mile to show his affection for French by naming a flavor of his Ciroc vodka after him. And if that wasn't enough, these two were practically joined at the hip on multiple luxurious vacations over the years. We met in Vegas for the first time ever. You know, um, I'm sure I heard about him more than he heard about me. Right. But when I met him, it was just like, you know, I was like, um, you going back to New York tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, like, come on, get on my jet. But hold on to your hats because there's a new player in town, Cuba Gooding Jr. Recently, oh, he was shit. named in the lawsuit filed by producer Rodney Jones against Diddy, and Jones alleged that Diddy tried to set him up into a freak-off with Cuba. And now to add more fuel to the fire, a video has surfaced showing Cuba getting down and having a blast with French on stage. So rumor has it that Diddy played a major role in kickstarting French's career. However, Diddy's helping hand came with some strings attached, and allegedly, French paid back the favor by taking part in Diddy's infamous 
Cheers freak offs. And just when you thought the pot couldn't get stirred any further, 50 Cent jumped into the mix, tossing more fuel onto the already blazing fire of speculation surrounding French's alleged role as Diddy and Cuba Gooding's special friend. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. This don't know how to say no. Hey, I'm confused uh, right now. <laughs> so there's some fresh Diddy <laughs> gossip making the rounds, and this time, it's dragging French Montana into those wild allegations about Diddy supposedly using his industry clout to rope rappers into some questionable activities. Now, we all know Diddy and French have been tight for ages, and they've definitely raised eyebrows more than once with their close bond. But before we dive into all that drama, let's rewind a bit and give you some background on French Montana. He was okay. born in Casablanca, Morocco, and made his way to the Big Apple when he was 13, settling down in the South Bronx with his parents and siblings. But things got rough just a couple of years later, his dad decided to head back to Morocco, leaving French's pregnant mom to raise the family on her own. Seeing his mom with three mouths to feed and another one on the way, French knew he had to step up and help the family. Fast forward to 2007, and he dropped his debut mixtape, which caught Diddy's attention. Diddy wasted no time signing him to Bad Boy Records, and this catapulted French into the big leagues of the music business. So Diddy claimed he had big plans for French and his music. However, instead of hitting the studio and grinding on his career, Diddy apparently started whisking French away on extravagant vacations and shopping sprees. And before you knew it, rumors were flying left and right, suggesting that French had become Diddy's latest, shall we say, companion. Diddy was wow. right there by French's side at every birthday wow. party, every event, every photo op. And if you didn't know any better, you'd swear they were an item. And then this video started blowing up, showing French sitting at a table shirtless and all slicked up like he's been dipped in massage oil while Diddy was singing happy birthday to him like he's Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday. Wow. Happy birthday. Wow, that is too it's much, man. Both of us. So once Come this on, video man. started making the rounds and going viral, tons of fans were quick to draw comparisons to that unforgettable moment when Diddy was belting out Happy Birthday to Fabulous during that legendary Drink Champs episode. But jokes aside, there's something else worth mentioning. Once French started rolling with Diddy, he found himself in some hot water with multiple women. Over the years, several women have come forward accusing French of some pretty serious stuff. They've claimed oh, he slipped shucks. something in their drinks before taking advantage of them. And in March 2020, things took a darker turn when French was accused of attacking a woman who was incapacitated at his former home in Hidden Hills. According to the oh, lawsuit shucks. filed by the woman, French and one of his friends, whose name wasn't made public, invited her over to the studio. They allegedly gave her substances and alcohol, and then things went downhill from there. The lawsuit alleges that the woman was taken advantage of by both men. But here's where it gets even more intense. The Shade Room went and dropped this bombshell video showing Diddy, French, and actress Sana Lathan seemingly under the influence in the back of Diddy's car. Now Mm -mm. I don't know, man. Now you can imagine the internet went wild with speculation when this video surfaced, especially considering the allegations swirling around Diddy spiking drinks at his parties and allegedly luring both women and men into some compromising situations. But while all this drama was unfolding, French and Diddy's bond seemed to only grow stronger. In fact, Diddy took things to a whole new level by naming a flavor of his Ciroc vodka after French. French vanilla, you gotta try it. Yes. It's real. And then there's this photo that went viral, showing Diddy and French looking pretty cozy while hanging out with friends in Miami. And if you pay attention, it almost looks like they're spooning. Now you already know 50 Cent couldn't ignore spooning? all the buzz surrounding that photo, so he went ahead and shared it on his Instagram. And his caption, Classic 50, he wrote, What in the world is going on in this picture, man? Something's not right. But 50 didn't stop there. Sometime later, he shared this selfie on his IG, and one of his followers commented, You should F French Montana. That's when 50 fired back saying, What the F you just say? I ain't with all that crazy shit. 
What the F, you think I'm puffy? And now 50 Cent's comments from back in the day are making waves again, especially with all these <laughs> allegations flying around about Diddy supposedly roping rappers into some questionable situations. Fans are putting two and two together, thinking French might have been one of those rumored special friends Diddy signed to his label under the guise of making music. But it's not just Diddy who's getting linked to French. There's now this video making the rounds on social media showing Cuba Gooding oh Jr. God. busting some moves on stage with French. Looking like radio. He drunk. Looking like radio, y'all. <laughs> Also, it looks like French partied with Cuba. Sound like to me his music kind of weak. Also, I don't know what it, the party ain't even jumping. Cuban is drunk, but the party seemed like it ain't even jumping. Man, you uh, you on that level with a puffy or whatever? You supposed to be rocking the stage. Look, look at the crowd. Also, it looks like French partied with Cuba for New Year's when they snapped this selfie. So remember how Cuba's name came up in Rodney Jones's lawsuit as one of Diddy's friends who made inappropriate moves on him. According to TMZ, Jones alleged that Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding on his yacht, and supposedly, Cuba started making advances on him without his consent. Jones even submitted multiple photos as supposed evidence, with one showing Cuba with his arm around Jones and another one showing Cuba and Diddy partying back in 2013. And when you add to this, all those hints 50 Cent threw about French and Diddy, folks are now starting to wonder if Diddy might have passed French off to Cuba. One fan said, I once heard French Montana say he'd do anything for fame. Diddy slid over like, I'm about to put that to the test. And another one wrote, I keep seeing these videos circulating like crazy. This is sickening what people are willing to do for a dollar out here. It's crazy how he can make moves on these men and degrade the heck out of them. He's pretty much controlling and pimping everyone. It's pathetic, real demonic. Ain't even nothing funny about this at all. Guess this the industry way. But what's your take on all this buzz about French Montana, Diddy, and Cuba Gooding? Do you think French might have really agreed to do some favors for Diddy and his industry friends to climb the ladder? Drop your thoughts in the comments and make sure to catch the next video. Oh my god, man, that was too much. Then Cuban again, man. He he's a he's a he's a um I like the way he act, man. I liked him in radio. And I liked him in that when he had that list, he told the guy to put these people on the list. And he went down the list and started killing the mugs, man. He, he I said, "Zing!" He is he, yeah, yeah. But all this gay stuff, I, hey, if you gay, you gay. I guess if you want to cover it up and keep it to yourself, who kid, who cares who you sleep with and everything? But I know one thing: I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it, man. I love women too much, man. Good God Almighty, boy, I love ladies. That's just me. You know, I don't have nothing against you if you gay. I don't have nothing against you, your sexual preference. As long as we do doing music, I like to do music, but don't try to touch me. Don't touch me unless you're a woman. <laughs> you can touch me all night long, baby, two times on Sunday. Anyway, hey, if, if, only thing I do know is Puffy ain't said nothing. He ain't tweet nothing and say, nah, man, it's a bunch of lies or whatever. I'm just going to keep these rumors going. You know, um, a lot of people are saying it's a lot of undercover brothers in the hip hop industry. They've been saying that over 10 years ago. They've been saying that over 10 years ago, man. So um, I believe it. I believe it. Ain't done nothing but grown now they talking about Mick Mills and, and, and other people, man. So, hey, you know, it's undercover brothers, period. We know that part. We know it's undercover brothers. Why not Why not be in the, in the um, the more money you got, the more you can pay to cover it up. I'm going to get on up out of here. Y'all take a light, take a slow, tell them Mike Cross. Told you so. Peace out.